Hello everyone and welcome to the Community Assistance Council video on autogenic muscle relaxation. My name is Jim McGraw and I'm one of the volunteers at Community Assistance Council and I'm happy you're using these video resources to foster your own sense of wellness and calm and relaxation. I want to begin by giving you a quick overview of what I have in mind for this short video. For starters, I want to talk a little bit about the basics of stress and relaxation, how it affects our health and how we can promote wellness and health by using various types of relaxation techniques. Secondly, I want to describe a very specific technique called autogenic muscle relaxation that has been around since the 1930s and is used a lot for a variety of medical conditions. And then thirdly, the majority of this video is going to involve actually practicing autogenic muscle relaxation and having you evaluate how well it works for you. As we close the video, I'm going to summarize what we did, offer some resources for future research and use, and then we'll talk about upcoming videos. So a quick review and for more in-depth information, please refer to the first video we did on self-relaxation and meditation that talks a little bit more about how stress impacts our body. But to summarize it, number one, we live in times of incredible stress. We all know that stress can impact our physical health and it's associated with a lot of medical problems. The good news is there are a variety of techniques that have been used for decades that can enable us to engage our relaxation response or our sympathetic nervous system. And for people that practice this, they can decrease their muscle tension, their cholesterol level, they can boost their immune system, and overall it creates a sense of uh, well being and peace. So, to set the stage for autogenic muscle relaxation, I would like you, first of all, to do a thought experiment with me. And imagine that you're in some kind of group meeting. Perhaps it's with a community group or a church group. And out of the blue, somebody calls on you and asks you to give a five minute speech. For about 80% of us, we would have a real anxious response. Uh, it would be the so called fight or flight response. Our heart would begin to race, we'd begin to breathe more quickly. And another manifestation of this, many of us would have feel cold and clammy hands because uh, our muscles would tense in our hands. So when you think about autogenic muscle relaxation, think about reversing that process. Specifically, this is uh, an exercise you can use to actually relax the muscles in your extremities, in your hands, in your fingers, throughout your body, that promotes muscle relaxation, um, greater blood flow, and in fact, uh, people use autogenic muscle relaxation for biofeedback. You've probably heard of that. And in the old days, they would use a thermometer, and in fact, I did this many years ago in Colorado. They would tape a thermometer to your finger, they would note your uh, peripheral temperature of your finger at the start of the session, after you would do autogenic muscle relaxation, they would look at how much your uh, skin temperature is warm. It's somewhat remarkable, but people can definitely increase their feeling of warmth and muscle relaxation by using this technique. So right now, let me give you a quick overview of how this technique is going to work, and we're going to practice it for about six minutes. It's a very simple technique that may seem kind of repetitive and boring, but basically it's going to involve initially focusing your breathing on slow, deep diaphragmatic breathing that we talked about in the first video, bringing your awareness to different parts of your body. And we're gonna start out with your arms and your hands. And right now, imagine that your mind is kind of like a, a remote control. When you use your remote control to switch different channels on your TV, you can take yourself to where you want to be. So right now, use your mental remote control to shift your awareness to your hands. 
And notice right now, if you bring your awareness to your hands or your fingertips, you can actually feel it. Perhaps uh, the clothing associated with uh, those parts of your body, perhaps a feeling of warmth, perhaps a tingling, whatever the feeling is. Now, use your mental remote control, shift your awareness to your feet. And now you may notice your feet resting comfortably on the floor, perhaps inside your shoes or socks. Through autogenic muscle relaxation, I am going to direct you to put your awareness on different parts of your body. Then I'm going to ask you to silently repeat some phrases I'm going to give you. Specifically, I'm going to say things like, my arms are heavy. And then you would repeat it silently. We'll do that about three times. And then I'm going to ask you again to focus your awareness on that part of your body. Feel your arms become heavy. Feel your arms become warm. And as you do this, your body will begin to relax the muscles of those parts of your body. And you'll actually begin to experience warmth due to blood vessel dilation. So that's what we're going to do. So to begin, as always, please create a very calm, quiet environment. You know, turn down the lights, put the dog out, try to find a time in your busy life in which other family members are not around, and plan on maybe six to 10 minutes and realize anything that you have, that you're thinking about, that you think you need to do right now, you may just wanna write it down on a piece of paper. Make a quick list and realize that that list will be waiting for you. And after you have relaxed, you'll approach these tasks in a, a greater sense of calm and confidence. So if at any point during this video, you need to pause the video, to put the dog outside or to turn off your phone or to make a list. Please feel free to pause it. And then after you've created a very serene environment, let's remember that posture is really important. So please have good upright posture where your spine is straight. The crown of your head is the high point. Your chin is slightly tilted down. And please take some slow, deep diaphragmatic breaths from the very bottom of your abdomen using the process that was described in the first video. Even the simple process of creating a calm, quiet setting and focusing on deep diaphragmatic breathing that begins to initiate the relaxation response or the sympathetic nervous system. Also, if you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes, or you can keep them slightly downcast in front of you. You're doing this so you can shut off some of the external stimulation and instead bring your awareness to your internal state of mind and body. And in this relaxed state, I want to ask you to use your mental remote control and bring your awareness to your arms and hands. Perhaps they're resting comfortably on your lap right now. Notice that you can feel the texture of the clothing on your skin. Perhaps the feeling of warmth as your hands rest comfortably. And now I'm going to ask you to repeat silently some phrases that I will give you. To begin, my arms are heavy. Please repeat that silently. My arms are heavy. My arms are heavy. 
and now feel your arms and your hands sink, settle, descend, become heavier and heavier as you become totally relaxed. And one more time, my arms are heavy. And now use your mental remote control and please bring your awareness to your shoulders, upper back and neck. Be aware of any sensations you feel in this part of your body. And please repeat silently. My shoulders are heavy. My shoulders are heavy. One more time. My shoulders are heavy. And feel the heaviness in your shoulders, your upper back, your neck. Feel everything being pulled down as all the muscles totally relax, become totally fluid, totally at ease. And one more time, my shoulders are heavy. Good work. Please tune in to how you already feel more at ease, more relaxed. And let's deepen this feeling by using another technique. And once more, use your mental remote control, bring your awareness to your arms, hands, and fingertips. You can feel them and now repeat silently. My arms, hands, and fingertips are warm. My arms, hands, and fingertips are warm. My arms, hands, fingertips are warm. And bring your awareness to the warm sensations you feel, particularly in your fingertips. Perhaps also a comfortable tingling sensation indicative of the blood vessels in your fingers and hands, dilating, relaxing. My arms, hands, and fingertips are warm. Once more, shift your awareness to your shoulders. Feel this area of your body and repeat silently to yourself, my shoulders are warm. My shoulders are warm. My shoulders are warm. And now feel the warmth in your upper back neck and shoulders, very comfortable, very relaxed. One more time, my shoulders are warm. And now use your mental remote control to bring your awareness to your legs and feet. You can feel your feet resting comfortably on the floor and repeat silently, my legs and feet are heavy. My legs and feet are heavy. My legs and feet are heavy. 
and imagine your feet being so heavy, you don't want to move them at all, too heavy to lift. So you can just let them rest comfortably. And now my legs and feet are warm. My legs and feet are warm. One last time, please repeat silently to yourself. My legs and feet are warm. And feel the warmth in these areas of your body. Notice how good it feels, how comfortable, totally relaxed, serene, peaceful. And now let's put your awareness on your whole body and please repeat this phrase. My whole body is quiet, comfortable, and relaxed. My whole body is quiet, comfortable, and relaxed. My whole body is quiet, comfortable, and relaxed. And use your awareness to do a body scan and notice how calm and quiet your body feels at this very moment. And lastly, because we know that when we relax the breathing and relax the body, we relax the mind. Please bring your awareness to your mind. Notice how quiet, serene, peaceful, calm you feel. And please repeat silently to yourself, my mind is quiet and peaceful. My mind is quiet and peaceful. My mind is quiet and peaceful. And one last time, please do a scan of your entire body your breathing in your mind. Notice how you feel different from eight minutes ago. Become acutely aware of where you feel your relaxation and realize that you were able to bring this about by practicing diaphragmatic breathing and by using autogenic muscle relaxation. And if this was effective for you, realize you can go back and do this again and again and modify it to work in a way that's even better for you. That as we end this session, um, please remember that whenever you come out of relaxation, please do so slowly. You may want to yawn or stretch, basically bringing back with you any degree of calm and quiet you've created. Uh, and yet feeling more energized, um, more alert, more refreshed, not sleepy at all. For one thing, uh, you may want to be careful when you would stand up. For some people that can really relax themselves in depth, they may feel a little bit lightheaded. So when you do uh, begin to move around and stand up, make sure that uh, you have your good sea legs under you, that you're feeling strong and safe. Also in general, even though this is a very safe practice that has been used a lot in a variety of medical applications, if you have any significant medical concerns, perhaps related to blood pressure, or if you have any adverse effects from uh, just sampling this technique, please talk with your physician about this and or um, meet someone in person where you could get more in-depth uh, assistance with practicing these techniques. So as I begin to conclude this video, again, I wanna thank you for using this resource that is sponsored by Community Assistance Council. Uh, to summarize, we talked again about the benefits of regular self-relaxation. Today, we practiced so-called autogenic muscle relaxation, 
And if you're interested, you could do a Google search, find a credible site, and you can learn a little bit more about uh, the impacts of autogenic muscle relaxation and the different ways it can be used. And now for your homework that I might invite you to consider. Anytime that uh, you have a spare five to 10 minutes, please experiment with this technique using the formula we, we used, we practiced, bringing your awareness to a part of your body, repeating these short, simple phrases, my arms are heavy, my arms are warm, moving through different parts of your body, and then evaluating the effectiveness of this. If you need a reminder, if you find yourself drawn toward a, a going to Facebook or a video game or jumping on the computer, which we all do a lot, before you do that, please take five to 10 minutes and experiment with this technique. In upcoming videos, we're gonna look at a few other ways to bring about the relaxation response. The next video we're going to do is going to be called progressive muscle relaxation. Another very effective technique that is a little bit more active and it involves tightening the muscles of your body, tightening and then relaxing, tightening and relaxing, and then moving through various uh, parts of your body to bring about a deeper state of relaxation. As you have any questions or feedback, please get in touch with someone from Community Assistance Council and we will try to speak to your questions or uh, try to offer information that you may find useful. So thanks again and see you in the next video.